You know, they're just trying to find openings, and they're doing it with the elite fighters in the gym where e either guy could destroy the other guy's legs and head and body, and, you know, you're kicking each other and kneeing each other and elbowing each other. It doesn't make sense to just I, go I to I think war once you get time. to enough experience, you can do that. Like, if you're an up-and-comer, you got to pay your dues. But I think once you get a certain level, you can do that. You most certainly have to get accustomed to getting hit. Correct. Yeah. You know if it's for you. Yeah. And see, that's where I'm at. I'd love to get your opinion on this with, like, the Jake Paul and Ben Askren. <laughs> Okay, this is my because I, I take some offense to it because all my friends when that got announced went, oh Ben's getting knocked out, and I was like, what? Like that's that's weird to say because let, let me just let's say you don't know who Jake Paul or Ben Askren is, and uh -huh. I give you the resumes. Okay, let me go through the resumes. Okay, let's go through. So them. let's go through this kid, the uh, fighter A. Mm -hmm. He was an Olympian wrestler. Yes. He was a national, two-time national champion wrestler. He won mm -hmm. the Heisman in college division one wrestling. Hold on, are they wrestling? They're not wrestling. Oh, I'm, not. Glad, I'm glad you asked that. Okay. So that that fighter A that has all those wrestling accolades, yes. some, he's a Hall of Famer. So he fought in a steel cage in one championship, big organization. Yeah. He was world champion there. Was he a striker? He wasn't, but he still won. Oh, did he good do any striking though. at all? No, good question. He didn't no. really stand up much, right? Not a lot, but I'm glad mm, you asked that because then he went over to Bellator. Right. Second biggest organization in the world. He fought the guy who you love, Douglas Lima. Yes. Five rounds, didn't get knocked out. Yes, but he and just then, wrestled him. Yeah, right? but still didn't get knocked out. And Korshkov, another killer. A killer, right? Ragdolled Both him. Killer. Yeah, but so, they didn't strike. He didn't strike with him at nope, all. No, right? but didn't get knocked out. Right. And they're in four ounce gloves. So yeah, so uh, two time world champion, different divisions. And then he goes to the UFC. Well, he went to one FC before that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying yeah. he was champ in both those. Right, but he went to champ in one FC yep. as well. Yep. And, where they allowed him to take guys down and knee him in the face when they were on sure. the ground. For sure. Didn't get knocked out there. Undefeated. Uh, also took guys down and didn't stand up with anybody. These are great points. So then he goes <laughs> over he, he goes over to the UFC. He goes over to the UFC, fights a guy in Robbie Lawler. Yes. Tough character. Yeah. Beat him. Didn't get knocked out. Controversial beating. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like yeah. Robbie got fucked. But there. then he fought Jorge Mazo and got mm -hmm. starched. Yeah. But there's this narrative on Fighter A, aka Ben Askren, where he, like awful striking and you know, he did get knocked out by Jorge. I get all that. You're talking about an Olympian, a mm -hmm. bona fide Hall of Famer mixed martial artist. Yeah. That mentality and now let all right, that meant so so there's fighter A. Let me give you fighter B that we don't know about. Fighter B YouTube star. YouTube star did some wrestling in high school, says he ran a 4440. I'm not calling Jake Paul a liar, but I am saying his gym coach who timed that is a liar. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. I've been around the game a long time. A 44 is very highly unlikely. Okay. His gym coach lied to him. But also, he's 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 two and oh in in and you say, well, who do you beat up? Well, he, he beat up a, another YouTuber, and they beat up a basketball player that won a slam dunk contest who has never fought before. Yes. Who would you pick in that? Well, um, one thing that I don't believe is that Ben Askren would knock out Nate Robinson the way that Jake Paul he did. He would beat him. He might beat him. Guarantee you beat him. He might beat him. He might. Ben is not an explosive guy. Not his, at all. He's very good at utilizing his superior wrestling knowledge, positions, and techniques. Wearing you out, annoying, he's heavy, great cardio. strong as fuck. Terrible body. You know, he knows he knows how to grab a hold of guys and, sure. and, and drag you to the ground and implement his style. He won't be able to do that. So his main thing will be out. His main thing will be completely removed. Wrestling. Yes. But but the 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 tie ups and that Olympian mentality that made him a two time world champion to mm -hmm. the biggest organization in the world is still there. There's and he, no doubt, and he has but a he's new got hip. a month. And he has a new hip. Yeah, but that takes a long time to heal from. Yeah. And and he has a month. Mm -hmm. He's got a month to train. Mm -hmm. It's not. It, listen, now one, I'm, I'm not saying Ben's gonna win, but all I'm saying is it's. Well, Ben it's certainly crazy. thinks he can win. It's crazy to me. We're just all like, "Oh, Ben's gonna get knocked down." Like he's in a fucking Olympian. Right. This guy's a YouTuber. Now, granted, Jake does have some skills he's that got skills that we know of. From yes. Nate Robinson and this other YouTuber. Well, not just that. You can watch him hit the bag, watch him hit pads. You can watch him spar. He's got good timing. He's got very good hand speed. His technique is excellent. He's got very good striking technique. And for me, this fight gets interesting. After, after, let's say it goes past the third round. Mm -hmm. What's Jake look like when there's a little bit of adversity? You know, when he can't knock out Ben, then what do we get? Yeah, yeah. Or That's he, where I'm at on it. 
Yeah, I mean, we, but to just to say that Jake's going to start him is insane to me. Um, I'm going to watch. Oh, I'm take gonna watch my it. fucking money. I'm going to watch it's it. It's the perfect yeah. opponent for Jake, too. Yeah, what's happening here? That's Jake training with Mazda. No way. <laughs> I, apparently Nate wants to fight him, but he Nate has out. two. Nate has two fights left in his UFC contract. He wants to fight Masvidal. Who wants? No, that fight? no, no, no. Nate wants oh, to fight Jake Paul. That's hilarious. See, okay. Jake has to be careful though, because he he's stepping into the real world of yes. of fighters with Ben Askren, who's a Hall of Famer. You beat him, where do you go from there? No yeah. celebrity, no NBA guy's gonna fight you because you just beat a real guy. Yeah. Now you're fighting guys like Nate Diaz. That can't be good. No. Yeah. Well. You know, it's it's. I feel like that kid could fight. And Which he, one, Jake Paul? And if he wanted to fight and just be a regular boxer, I think he'd have a real chance at having a career in boxing. Now, would he get the kind of attention he's getting right now after a knockout of an NBA player? No, but it would be a slow build. But I'm looking you're at his if skills. He, if, he, if he wasn't a big YouTube like yeah, famous, he went yeah, to Trish. You're, yeah. you're looking at what ten years? You're looking at Eight some years? time. I mean, I don't know how Amateur? much time he spent boxing before he had those two fights. I think how much time did he spend striking? Two about? years. That's it. Two or three years. Yeah. Mm. But he was he, no training before that. Mm -mm. Nothing. Did some wrestling. When did his brother f f have his first fight with KSI? When was that? That was the first fight he had, right? Yeah. They had a draw, and then he lost the decision, right? Mm -hmm. And that was when did that start? Was that two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. three years ago. But I gotta think he was training before that. They're athletic kids, man. Yeah, they so are. So if they put their mind to something, they're gonna go pretty far. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, if you looked at him as just a, a boxing contender, you know, be like, mm, I'll keep an eye on that kid. We'll see where he goes. You but know? but that but that's not where he's at, unfortunately. No, exactly. And it's, 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 that's a, my it's, point. You know, it's a double-edged sword. It's the Kimbo Slice thing where you're gonna run into somebody. And it happened to me, dude. You know, I was more athletic than a lot of these guys. And you get so far, and then you meet a vet who's like, you're athletic? Yeah, cool, man. You have a heavy right hand. All right, cool. I've seen this before, dude. You know, yeah. you're, you're going to run into a real vet. Mm -hmm. And that, that's going to happen. Eventually, undeniably, it's going to happen to these guys. Oh, for sure. Greg yeah. Hardy. Yeah. So, but you're talking about an all-pro NFL player, dude. Yeah. F fucking freak. But it doesn't matter, man. There's not enough time in the day to get the skills that's going to take for you to beat an Overeem, mm -hmm. to beat a Francis, to beat a Curtis Blades. No matter how much, it doesn't matter who's your coach. It doesn't matter how, how many times you train a day. You're never going to get there, ever. Mm. You're just not. I feel like with Greg Hardy, he almost would be better off in just striking. It almost seems like with a guy like that, like, you know, he got taken down. And who, who, who just took, took him down and mauled him? Um, the 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 Polish cat, yes. uh, Tibera. Yes, Marcin yes. Marcin Tibera. Yes. Um, there was nothing on the ground. Nothing. Like no frim, not proper framing. He had no shrimping. It, like it day like he had one. No shit. idea what to do. Yes. I feel like a guy like that. It's like he's got so much to learn. It's almost not even possible. It's but not fuck a lot of people up standing. And that's and that's good. So yeah. you're always going to be around that you know ten to twenty range. You're never going to crack those top guys ever. It seems like, and I know 30, it sounds like I'm being negative, no, but it's not. just not. We're just looking at, uh, the, the, we're look. It's almost like you're looking at mathematics, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking at the amount of time that it takes to develop a skill. There's not enough hours in the day. There was a uh, one of, um, uh, without naming them. There's a guy that I knew that was a black belt in jujitsu who was going to take on an MMA fight, and I know he was doing no striking at all, and uh, he was just starting to do some striking to prepare for an MMA fight that was a couple months away. And I was like, you got to not do this. You got to not do this. And he's like, why? I go, because what you can do to people on the ground, someone can do to you standing up. You have to understand this. Like, I know you think you're really good because you're really good at jujitsu. Yes. So you have this idea that I'm, I'm, I'm a guy who fucks people up. I go, but there are things that happen when you're, you're doing stand up. There's, there's places that people can put you in that are real similar to places you could put people on the ground where they just have no chance. They have no chance. And, and the fight starts on the feet. And yeah. those guys that can put you in those positions on the feet can negate what you want to do on the ground. Yeah, because you're a lot never going to get them there, dude. Yeah, and they know how to stop takedowns. Yeah. And you're not a wrestler. It's no. not like an elite wrestler. It, again, you're really your ceiling's here. Guy. No yes. matter how much yeah. you do it, you can box with everyone. Mm -hmm. Jason Perillo, Mark Henry, doesn't matter. Your ceiling's here, dude. Strike so you can do it. Yeah. But there's a ceiling. And striking is such a weird thing, too, because, like, if you are a guy like he, here's one of the reasons why I'm skeptical about Ben Askren because he's not he's not explosive he's not fast 
It's not a fast guy. There's some guys that get into striking, even as wrestlers, with no striking history, but they pick it up really quickly. Mm -hmm. they, they just have speed. They just have speed and power. They know how to do it. And there's other guys, you look at them, you're like, this is never going to work. Like, you don't have enough time. There's not enough, enough time in your life. Yep. You literally needed to learn when your body was growing, mm -hmm. and it, you didn't. Mm -hmm. And now you're doomed. You know, you're just, you're, it's not going to happen. Yeah, and shitty. to be negative like that, people are like, well, how can you say I that? I know. I know. But you can't. They can say learn. That. I'm like, they, nope. they, you got to nope. realize the guys ahead of them yeah. are so far ahead, unless they have a time machine, it's yeah. just. It's that's, impossible. That's the analytics, man. Well, you learn certain things while your body's maturing. Yeah. If you look at a guy like Floyd Mayweather, who learned boxing when he was a child, if you look at there's a lot of kickboxers that learn striking, whether they start out in uh, Kilkushin or you know Muay Thai or whatever it is, they start out so young, their body develops with that ability, and you're not going to learn that. You're Never. not. You're not going to be able to do what they do. Yeah. Yeah.